Welcome, everybody, to The Scale Up Show. This is your host, Ryan Staley, and I have a very, very special guest today. I have Vlad Blagojevich. Vlad has worked with companies like Sony, EMC, and Cirrus. He's built marketing and selling for complex B2B products. He is a Serbian Belgium in Spain. He's also the author of a six-week ABM playbook. And something that I'm very, very excited that isn't talked about much is one of the things that Vlad does is he has he helps B2B brands generate uh, marketing for high ACV opportunities and enterprise opportunities. Has a consulting company in which he helps organizations do that. Vlad, welcome to the show, man. Happy to have you on. Oh, I'm super excited to be here. I love your energy, man. <laughs> super excited to be Thanks, here. Thanks, man. What's your core solution? I know you provide marketing services to companies in the range of three to 10 million, but what's, what's your, your solution that you provide for them? Yeah, absolutely. So we basically, what we help them do is we help them land enterprise, let's say upper middle market and enterprise opportunities and also generate demand because a lot of these companies are in the markets where they may not yet be known or, you know, they're working on specific complex solutions and customers may not be aware of them. So demand generation becomes important. And so we do that. We usually set up what we, well, basically account based marketing operations and, uh, help them achieve these goals. Okay. I love that. ACB means average contract value. If you're not, if you're not down with the acronym. So, um, what, what would you classify as that, or how would you define that? Yeah. So I would say that in our case, uh, the minimum minimum would be pay maybe 20 K a year. Uh, most of our clients will be anywhere between let's say 50 and 300 K and some of the clients will have, you know, a multimillion or let's say tier one, uh, accounts and, and deals that they have will go into, into millions, but let's say the majority would be between 100 and 300 K. Okay. 100 and 300 K. I love that. That aligns with my definition as well. Some people define it, believe it or not, Vlad, I don't know if you see this by logo name, they oh. don't do it by dollar size, but they're like, oh, that's a big company, you know? And I'm like, like, well, you could sell to a big company, but if you're selling a $1,000 a month deal, it's, com it's completely different motion and requirements than a hundred thousand dollar a month deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? To yeah, even a smaller absolutely. company. So, um, so we're in alignment there. How does an ideal customer look like? How does an ideal account look like? But also, how does an ideal buyer committee look like? Who are the different types of buyers in there? What are their needs? What are their objections? Uh, at which stage do they get involved in the buying process? Um, you know, what kind of information are they looking for, et cetera. So when I'm talking about an ideal customer profile, I'm really talking about understanding what kind of companies we are after, but also how and why I, are, are they buying and, and, mm -hmm. and eventually also why are they buying from you? Why are they choosing you compared to the competitors? The next step, how did you get to this point? You know, like you've obviously had a journey. You work with, for some really large organizations as I didn't even totally mention it. I think I mentioned it in the, the first two intros that I botched, but anyways, so you, uh, you, you did a great job, right? You've worked at some big companies, but how did you get to this point where you acquired mastery in terms of demand generation for really large opportunities? Yeah, it's a really good question. And, and the journey was not a very typical one. I started off actually as a software engineer. And then oh, wow. one day I was like a little bit sick of just, you know, I love building products, but I, I wanted to come closer to the customers. And the first gig that I had was kind of a uh, consulting, but little did I know I was supposed to bring in our own project. So I was supposed to go out and sell. I didn't know anything about selling. I was this, you know, intellectual guy, engineer, and you know, I had to be bringing projects and luckily I was with a really, really good colleague who explained me that sales is not really what I thought sales was, but it was really about understanding and listening to your customers recommending a solution. And by the way, mentioning how we can help them. I said, okay, I can do that. And I uh, actually became quite good at it and fell in love with sales, then later marketing. And since I always worked in the software, like with tech companies and always with like B2B complex niche solutions, industry or otherwise, um, I noticed that a lot of the things that, you know, were being 
promoted or sold uh, as marketing didn't really work in that context. So that was my, my, my goal was for the last, I would say, since 2011 or so. So let's say for the last 10 years, I was trying to find okay, what is actually working. So after a lot of trial and errors and also meeting Andre, who had some great, great things there, I um, finally came, came to the methods uh, that we are using today. One thing that you often hear when you're talking to executives or you know, marketers and sales, our technology is industry agnostic. But of course, that's like the, 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 the way that the buyers buy is not. They buy very differently. They use different language. Their priorities are different. Like mm -hmm. it's, everything is different from the buyer's perspective, right? So we first really nailed that. And it was, uh, in, in their case, we, we, we saw we, the way that we usually do this is looking at the evidence. And mm -hmm. by, what, what I mean by that is simply studying their CRM, you know, what are the best fit deals and identifying the different segments and, you know, together with the team, scoring the different segments and, and deciding on, on, on the one to focus. And then in the next step, we always, again, based on the evidence, if you're trying to replicate your best deals, you want to understand uh, how your best customers are buying. I mean, if you're talking about ideal customer profile, there are two things in there, two words like ideal, mean, meaning your best customers from that target segment. And the second one is customers. So they, it has to be based on actual customers. And the only way you can do that is by going back and talking to those customers and interviewing them. And that's something that a lot of companies, a mistake that we see, a lot of companies skip that step. What's the number one biggest mistake that you see organizations making when trying to market to those high $100,000 plus deals versus normal marketing for that are, are kind of lower tier? Yeah, the number one biggest mistake is broad targeting, like trying to get anybody who could potentially use your product and not going very, very narrow and not taking the time to actually understand who your, I know like a lot of people talk about ideal customer profile, but I, what I mean here is maybe those 50 to 100 accounts. So that narrow, like in a very specific, in very specific industries and really like nailing and understanding what makes an account a good fit. And when I'm talking about a good fit, I'm talking about, you know, understanding to a level of maybe having 30 qualification or disqualification criteria, really nailing mm. it to that level and having a list of dream accounts that you're after. So to, to wrap things up, you know, where can people find you? Where can they learn more about you and, and FullFunnel.io? Well, FullFunnel.io, obviously our website and just freely connect with me on LinkedIn. I post daily. I, you know, accept connection requests. If you ask me anything, I will always respond. So just do that. That's the easiest and the most direct. Excellent. All right, man. It was great having you on the show today. I really appreciate you and kind of your approach. And I think this is, this is wildly valuable to help people connect kind of the, the actual sales process and continue that all the way into marketing with the way that people buy. So thanks for being on. Thank you so much. Uh, I had so much fun. Yeah, me too, man. All right.